What's up? How's it going? I feel like it's been a minute. I feel like there's some catching up to do, but I want to just start off with a room tour. Didn't clean, didn't prepare for this, just uh, got off of a late night of work and was like, you know what? The cereal that I'm eating right now. Pretty tasty, got me feeling pretty good. I feel like I haven't checked in on the uh, the Space Jump fam, the EDM fam, all the 1,300 subscribers to my channel that I haven't supported in, in a little bit. So I don't have any ideas. This is the idea that popped in my head was to show you guys my room where I spent more or less how many hours in a day? Well, probably spent like 500 to 1,000 hours in this room. Yeah, but no, probably 1,000 hours in the past year. Uh, you know, because of what's been going on. So, you're going to see the, uh, the realities of a 24-year-old works at home and mostly chills in one room. We'll see how interesting it is. Maybe you guys will see some things that I think are neat, some neat, neat merch and items, some commodities. Um, how's lighting? How's lighting? I guess we'll start with the desk that you can see. Um, let's see here. You can see my MacBook uh, Pro, which I have two of them, one for my employment and one for personal. Um, I got, I've had this Mac for about, probably going on two years now. Actually, no, uh, I spilled water on it <laughs> and I uh, completely broke it and didn't have a chance so I had to buy a new one. So this one's only, probably only a year old, um, but I love it. Very fun. I'll be editing uh, this video on it on Final Cut Pro. I don't have that yet, so I might have to steal it. I don't I don't know how I'm going to edit this video, to be honest. We'll figure it out. And then I, I got this big honking monitor. Um, as you can see, it's uh, this is like a large Mac. This isn't no small fry Mac. And that's, that's kind of use it also as my TV, this big uh, screen up here. Got my two speakers that I've been using for, for a minute. I just got... Uh, these headphones, these are like some Sennheiser DJing headphones of sorts. Really liking those. And then uh, this whole sort of terrace kind of looking thing is actually a stand up desk. So you, you pull it up here and it lifts up so you can stand. Um, I'm kind of too tall for that. Anyway, so I have to like lean into it and stuff, but what's nice is um, in this position, it's actually like kind of my height because before things were down here, like everything and made me feel like uh, like Yao Ming or something, just way too big, like a, like a Slender Man or something. So that's the desk area. Coming back around is a couch with a little, not really laundry, just blankies um, and stuff. One of two windows. Uh, up here we'd have some delightful furnishings that were not of my taste, but nonetheless they've uh, sustained this corner with uh, a little bit of color. There's the Sports Illustrated 2004 Face of the Playoffs uh, memorabilia. Um, a lot of you guys have assumed that I was, I lived in, you know, what, California? Uh, no, I live, I live in Boston or near Boston, near, near, more near Foxborough if you know, if you know uh, the team, the Patriots, the Patriots play near Foxborough. I'm not going to give you guys my exact address. Uh, you guys are going to have to figure that out on your own. Should be too hard. And then uh, my 
these are my diplomas of my grandfather. Those aren't even, uh, let's get a zoom in on one of these, right? Let's, let's do the Newton Grammar School. I don't even know what that, that really means. Newton Grammar School. John, you can kind of see John Du Bois. A lot of glare in that. Yeah. Newton Grammar School. John Du Bois and a bunch of scribblies. Um, old pieces of paper. And those have served my grandfather really well because he's retired and alive. <laughs> what else can you, what else do you want? But I guess it was in like, like machinery stuff. All right, I, gotta, I need to turn the light for my closet. Let me see what I can do for that. Um, sorry, ooh, bright, bright. Let's get away from that. All right, here's my closet. Let's pick off some things. Here is, oh, this is not a one hand gig, I'll tell you. Okay. Uh, this is an Oculus Rift, I just got this. This is pretty fun, pretty uh, cool thing. I wanna eventually do it with people, show other my friends and stuff, so. Uh, hopefully that happens soon because I think it's kind of funny. There's some different games and things you can do. Um, we have some Pokemon cards. These are kind of shitty Pokemon cards. I wouldn't. Uh, uh, these aren't special. There's, there's cooler ones. This was kind of that kind of was a wash. That was like a random binder I got at like Savers. But uh. Let me, wow, that's, come on lighting, let's do your thing. There it is. Oh yeah, I can just point to it. Uh, these are some, some Nike, Nike Vaporwaffel Exakai um, shoes that uh, I'm gonna flip, uh, you know, if you hunted. This would be a lot easier if I had someone holding the camera. Right? That's can't be understated right now. <laughs> but we have the safe that I just cracked open, and the safe has kind of some different things here. Um, some rare Pokemon cards, kind of hanging on to them. Uh, got into this a little too uh, reasonably uh, a lot in the fall, but um, I've kind of chilled out on that a bit. And then above, I mean, I'm just showing you guys random shit. I don't know if you guys might think that some of this stuff's interesting, but these, the, I've saved a bunch of um, coasters when I went to Europe. I want to get these laminated and make a little uh, treat. I got pull more down here. Um, look at these. We were set as Flanders, which is um, uh, Belgian Flanders is like some other way to say Austria or Belgium. Uh, this is Amsterdam, obviously. Delirium, which is a popular brewery in Belgium that has like, I don't know, 200 plus beers on tap. Pretty impressive. Um, this is obviously a... Berlin, uh, Germany brewery that I don't particularly remember, but it's definitely from Germany. Opera House is like the biggest um, brewery in Germany, so I had to cough one of those, you know what I mean? And this is the Austria one. This is a uh, Salzburger Stiegel. This is definitely what it seemed to me when I was there for a brief time, the most popular. So I think it's kind of cool. I'm happy I took these. Um, sometimes they're like in shitty, they have like beer scenes, but I got pretty good ones that uh, were not so dirty. And, uh, you know, some fits. 
Get this crappy Supreme shirt that I'm trying to sell. <laughs> this champion hoodie, I just I just got this. And it's pretty cozy, it's like an extra large. I got it for like 12 bucks. It was like in the, you know, clearance rack. It's always fun. What else coming over? Ah, uh, that's my bed. Let's not look at my bed. That's kind of not that interesting. Oh yeah, here uh, I went shopping. Super dry, but is the clothes was too small. Uh, if you go to Super Dry, uh, buy a size up, or at least go to one that has a changing room. And uh, we have yoga mat, yoga block. Uh, this is an like a, a long one, so if you're a tall boy like me, they actually make long yoga mats that um, are like you can actually lay down on and actually do sun salutations without falling off, and it uh, makes the it's pretty convenient. It also allows you to have just more space. And then uh, lastly, <laughs> there's the one shelf in my room. So what is interesting on my shelf? Uh, there's some books I haven't read. Well, I've read, I've read some of these, let's see. I read this one. The Four is pretty good. And I, I would recommend this book too, Shoe Dog. I don't think I've really read anything else, uh, except for this homie. Uh, How to Live on 24 Hours a Day by Arnold Bennett. I am Arnold Bennett. The most proper gentleman. Pretty cool book. You can just get it for free. It's, it's old, so it's on like Gutenberg Project and things of the sort. Damn, I'm looking like a hoarder over here. This, this is this is not this is not. <laughs> Next video is me cleaning my room. Um, that's Frankie, one of my dogs. Come on, Frankie, zoom in. Get it? Yeah, happy little guy. And I mean, there's just all sorts of shit. I mean, I have like, I would say generally this. This is where I keep like wires and tech stuff, like these weren't bows. Sound cancelling headphones. Uh, a nifty headlight. Oh, I can. It looks mad dusty in there. So you can see some things. Charger, measuring tape. This blue thing here is a battery charger. Um, yeah, and there's, there's more stuff. It's not really that important. Um, I'd probably say if I had to pick the three most important things in my room, it would have to be one, uh, my laptop. I don't know if that's vain, but that shit's, um, I use it, I mean, use my laptop all the time. Find it very useful. Makes me uh, good money. I get to meet people and explore new things on that. I actually use it much more than my phone now. I don't really use my phone that much because it's also texting on the Mac Book Pro, so I can do a lot on that. And I guess the second thing would be damn, I don't even I have a new pair of shoes coming in. That's probably going to be my second favorite thing. It's just a nice pair of shoes. Can't wait for the shoe vlog. I'm sure it's gonna be just as fire as uh, this room tour vlog is. And then lastly, I think I have a <laughs> a Nazi coin. Let's see if I can find it. I don't even think this is my favorite thing. This might get me canceled, but hold up, I'm gonna get it. Actually, this is kind of funny. I forgot I had this. I went to a M Machine concert like, must have been like five years ago. 
And uh, I didn't have anything to fit in the side, so I just had them sign this dollar I had. So it's got... I don't even know who it has on it. I think it has Schwarty and... Uh, yeah, Schwarty's, I see that. Someone named John, Joan, maybe? Yeah, I think it got signed by the, the trio. But uh, I still have it. It's funny, because I don't know one way or another, I like mentioned them getting broken up, and they were like, now we're never going to leave or break up. I was like, yeah, that's, that happens. All right, Nazi coin. This is my most special uh, prize thing. I just think it's kind of funny. And uh, I didn't go out of my way to find this. Uh, this found me. I was uh, moving out my grandma. And, I don't know. This is in a little box. Is this illegal? Can I show this? Like, is this contraband? I don't, I don't Wait, no, I'm not going to show you guys that shit. I have no clue what that what that entails. Uh, if you want to see it, you can just DM me and, or something. It was, I think it's just kind of funny that that's just something chilling in my room. I don't really think about it. I don't know why it popped in my head in particular. Um, but it's something in my room. All right. Uh, in this duration of this vlog, my cereal has definitely gotten a little soggy, so I want to go and eat that before it gets to a nth degree more soggy. So I hope Pepper now is a good day. Uh, feel free to mention below what your favorite item in your room is, because um, I don't know. I'm always I always like cool things for rooms, especially nowadays. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time.